What's up, fight fans? Matt Tucker here with the legend, Bob Arum. Bob, how are you, buddy? Good, good. It's been a wild week in fights. Uh, what did you think of Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois? Well, it was what, what heavyweight fights used to be. Two guys go out and slug each other, and one guy knocks the other one out. I mean, that's exciting. It was very exciting, to be honest with you. Uh, what do you make of AJ following that fight? Do you think he should take the rematch? There's no rematch. That's Eddie Hearn's bullshit. <laughs> there was no rematch clause. Dubois signed a two-fight deal with the Saudis, and I think, really, that uh, uh, the best fight for Dubois is to fight the winner of uh, Fury and Usyk. And that's what it'll do. There's no rematch clause. I mean, you, possibly they could do a rematch, but there's no contractual obligation uh, on Dubois to do a rematch. If there was a rematch to take place between the two, do you think it would play out any different? Do you think AJ just had an off night? No, you don't have an off night getting his shit kicked out of you that way. I just think AJ you know, has been through a lot of wars and I think it's over for him as well as over for, uh, for Wilder. Mm. Maybe they can fight each other, you know, that'd be a good thing. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of talk about uh, Wilder retiring. Do you think he should keep at it or should he take a fight like the I, AJ fight? I, I, I can't. I mean, I've, uh, you know, I've had Wilder in, in his fights with uh, Fury, but, you know, I don't know uh, how he checks out physically with doctors and so forth, uh, and so I can't even make a decision. I mean, I mean I'd just be silly. I'd just be making stuff up. Did it, did it kind of bum you out when you saw AJ get put down like that because... For many years, we've been trying to get the Fury AJ fight. Do you think it loses its luster? I think completely. Yeah. Completely. Mm. Now, if Usyk knocks out Fury, then maybe you could sell a Fury AJ fight. Mm. The two loses. Uh, so, moving on from that, uh, going back to your old buddy Eddie Hearn, what do you make of him signing Shakur? Well, you know, he, he used the Saudi money to sign Shakur, and uh, Shakur is a, a great fighter, really a tremendous talent, and I like him very much, and uh, we all made a big offer to him, uh, which uh, he turned down for whatever reason, so I, I just wish him the best of luck, and whether it's with Eddie Aaron or with another promoter, uh, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, Shakur is a tremendous, tremendous talent, uh, and uh, uh, I want to see more of his fights. Yeah, it's a bummer that he just got injured. There were talks that he was going to face Zepeda. Uh, how do you see that fight playing out? I don't think Zepeda. I don't think anything. I don't think Zepeda is uh, anywhere near as good as Shakur. Mm. I think Shakur beats everybody at 135, you know, that's been mentioned. Maybe if Lomachenko keeps fighting, Loma would make a tremendous matchup with him. But other than that, I don't see anybody with the skills to face uh, and beat uh, Shakur. Do you have any updates on Tiafimo Lopez? Yeah, well, Tiafimo uh, is, we're, we've been talking with him and so forth, and uh, uh, we want to get, he, he wanted to take some time out, he had some personal issues, but we want to get him back in the ring uh, right after the first of the year. There's some rumors that uh, he was offered a Devin Haney fight. Is there any truth to that? Not that I know. 
Fair. Yeah. Bob, uh, there's a line for you, so I'm going to let you get into that. But always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Okay, good job. Thank you so much. Matt Tucker, Fight Hub TV, signing out. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Hub TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Hub TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.